Welcome to Studio B and class today. I'm Bonnie, I'm going to be your teacher, and a block might be helpful for you today. Grab your block, set it down, and sit on your block. As you sit on the block, sit in a way that's comfortable, you can come your, bring, come your legs. <laughs> bring your legs. So, and then underneath you. <clears throat> pause here you can also leave your legs out to the side in like a wide leg sort of shape you can bring your legs together into a bad angle shape in a way that feels feels good for just a minute Sit up nice and tall you can leave your hands connected to your legs or to your body in any sort of way wiggle yourself out And close your eyes. Mm. I offer you a line today for our practice from the book, Women Who Run With the Wolves. And there's a line in it says, generally, balance makes our lives larger and imbalance makes our lives smaller. That generally balance makes our lives larger and imbalance makes our lives smaller. As we go into this balancing sequence that is mostly lower body focused, we're not in a rush. And we are here with this idea that Balance is something that expands us, that allows us to have the capacity to show up in the ways that we want to show up. And when we have an imbalance of one thing or the other, if we have too much structure, there's not enough flow, too much flow, there's not enough structure, too much the work, the play, like all of these things, we can feel it in us when there's a lack there. And when we feel more balance, we feel bigger. We feel braver, we feel more honest. Let that guide us for today. Let this be kind of this invitation or reflection on the balance here as it shows up in the practice and maybe that's the physical practice, maybe it's other practice. Take an intentional in-breath and out-breath. Open your eyes. And namaste. Welcome. In this moment, I would like you to, depending on how your legs were situated, and for sitting on this block then, you should bring both feet onto the ground in front of you. And connect your arms to your legs. Sit for just a moment. Look around your back, taking this into like a seated cat and cow. Drop a shoulder in. Excellent. Thanks for arriving here with me today. Now pick up your left foot. With your left foot, I want you to cross it under your right leg and drop your knee to the ground. Pick that leg back up, extend your left leg and drop your foot down to the mat. Pick up your right foot, bend your right knee, Cross your foot underneath you, set your right knee on the ground. Pick your right knee back up, extend your right foot out in front of you, and set your right foot down. Left foot up. Thread your left leg underneath you. And then pick your knee back up, extend your left leg, set your left foot down, pick up your right foot. Stay nice and tall. Bend your right leg, thread your right foot underneath your left leg, set your knee down, then pick your leg back up, and put it on the ground. Invitation, if you're on the block, pick the block up and take it out from underneath you. Again, left leg up, bend your leg, thread it underneath, set your leg down, 
take your knee up and repeat. Right leg, thread it, take it up, extend, set it down. One more time each side. It's definitely hip flexors working. Set it down, stay tall, extend, set it down. One more time, right leg, thread it, set it down, and drop it. Excellent. Okay, from here, watch for just a moment. You're gonna pick up your left leg. You're gonna thread it under. From here, we're sitting back behind this left heel. You're gonna reach your body forward inside your right knee. Reach your body forward and then get up off your, your, your shin, up onto, sorry, up onto your left shin. If you wanna place your left hand down onto the ground to help you get up, you can do that. Find your way up onto your left shin and your right foot. Your right knee is gonna be over your ankle for sure. That's fantastic, great. Okay, and then sit yourself all the way back down. To sit down, lean your chest forward, your arms forward, so you have a counterbalance to your butt, and then sit all the way down. And let's change ways. You can do this with a block underneath you. It'll raise the floor, and maybe give you a little bit more space to do this as well. Pick up your right foot, thread it under, drop your leg down, shift your right forward, you're coming inside your left leg, shift your right forward, all the way up onto your shin, and your left foot. Sit your butt back and down behind your right foot and replace your foot and switch it. Left leg under, reach forward, come up onto your shin and foot and sit it back down. Switch it, right foot, thread it under, shift forward. If you wanna remove the block, remove the block and sit it back down. One more time, both sides. Left leg, thread it under all the way up, move at the speed that you can move at, set it back down, if it feels like success to you today, do that. Right foot, thread it under, shift and up. Okay, so there's a little bit of mobility here, also strength. Okay, this time, what we're gonna do, again, you can have the block underneath you, you know that that raises the ground, which gives you maybe a little bit more edge and assist to be able to get to the places. We wanna make this easy. Okay, let this be easy today. Put your left leg up, your thread under, lean forward, come onto that shin and right foot. Okay, from this position, if you have the block behind you, it's gonna be a little bit in the way, so just be aware of that. You're gonna pick your foot up and over your block if you have the block there. Then you're gonna lean into this front foot. Actually, pause. Tuck your left toes underneath you. Lift your left knee up off the mat, lean into your right foot, and pull your left knee up and balance. Pause there for a moment, push into that bottom foot, get taller through the top of your head. Mm -hmm. Now reverse this. Step your left toes again, back behind you. Drop your left knee down. Untuck your, le your left toes, cross your foot back over to the right and sit all the way down. Excellent. The block actually might give you a good aim even if you don't need it to get up, that, that getting up feels easy without it. It can be a good aim for knowing the placement of legs. Okay, extend your left foot and set it back on the ground. Pick up your right foot, thread it under, drop your knee down, lean forward. Pick up your right foot and make it so your right shin is parallel to the outer edge of the right edge of your mat. Tuck your right toe, lift your right knee off the mat, come to a balance on your left leg, pull your right knee up, level with your hip, push down through that left foot. Reach up through the top of your head. Have your hands alongside your body with your palms facing forward. Now reverse this. Step your right toes back. Set your right knee down onto the ground. Untuck your right toes. Cross your right foot over behind you to the left side. Sit yourself back behind your right foot. Uncross. Yeah, little sideways on the block. And sit all the way down. Again, you can do it with or without the block. Let's do it again. Left leg up. Thread it under. Lean forward onto your shin. Bring your toes over to the left. Get your shin, your left shin parallel with the outer edge of the mat. Option, tuck your toes, lift your knee, come to balance. Other option, don't tuck your toes. Lean over to the right side and then lift off that bottom shin. A little bit more strength required in your right leg to do it that way. To reverse it, option, toes down, knee down. That's easier. Harder option, drop it all the way down, knee then toes. Do not injure your knee, okay? If you need some support there too, or you need a blanket there for a soft landing, hey, okay, that's a lot more work, especially because it's a little bit wider distance apart. And you might have to drop your knee down a little bit closer if you're gonna go knee first. 
Take your left foot over behind your right side, sit all the way down. Extend your left leg up, set it down, pick up your right, thread it under, rock yourself forward. Bring your left right shin parallel with the right edge of your mat. Easier, toes tucked, lift your knee. Come up to stand in balance. Harder, leave your toes untucked. All the way up, stand in balance. To get back down, easier, toes down first, then knee. Harder, knee, and then top of your right foot. <laughs> it's a lot harder. You could take this and, and bring blocks in front of you if you wanna try that position and let yourself have some support with your arms as well. Cross your right foot over behind your foot and your left foot, sit all the way back behind. Good, and extend, I'm wiggling all over the mat. Excellent, here we are. <laughs> okay, let's add on. Pick up your left leg, cross it under. Rock forward onto your left shin, uncross the back, stand all the way up, balance. Good. From this balance, I want you to lift your right hand up, left hand is down alongside your body. From here, shift your weight forward, let your right hand reach forward, kick your left leg back, switch your arms, reach your left hand forward, your right hand back. This is like a running arm stance. I want you to again stand all the way up balance, pick your right hand up, pick your left knee up. So we have opposite hand and opposite arm reaching. Good. Shift it back again, warrior three. From this warrior three, put a deep bend in your right leg. Keep your body reaching forward, but now slowly start to shift your hips back, shift your hips back, shift your hips back, and then drop your left toes down. So it's a really long stance from your front and back foot. Reach both hands up, coming to a high lunge. Good. High lunge, now open up warrior two. <sighs> Roll that back outer edge of your right foot, left foot, parallel to the back edge of the mat. Bring your shoulders on top of your hips. Bend into your front knee. Roll your shoulder blades down, reach your palms. Let your palms roll open to the ceiling. Let your palms be soft for a moment. Ah, yeah. Excellent. You're gonna bring your back hand forward, your forward hand back. Rotate on, pivot on your back toes. Come to this lunge position. Open up again, warrior two. Teal, toe heel your left foot in a little bit closer. So shorten your stance of your warrior two. Again, rotate your hands. Left hand forward, right hand back, pivot on your back toes. So you lean your weight forward into your front foot, front foot, and then pick up your back foot. Warrior three, stand, running arms to the standing balance. Beautiful. Step your left toes back onto the mat. Pull your hands to your heart, drop down onto your left knee. Untuck your toes, cross your left foot behind you on the right, sit all the way down behind your heel. Beautiful. Replace your left foot onto the mat. Pick up your right leg, cross it underneath you. Roll up onto that shin. Bring your right chin parallel to the left, right edge of the mat. Stand all the way up. Put your hands to your heart. Lift your right knee up. Good. Extend your left arm high. Drop your right arm alongside your body. Switch your arms as you extend your right leg back behind you, coming to a warrior three. Stay. Push that right heel back towards the wall behind you. Reach your right fingertips forward. Now switch your arms and stand. Bring your right knee back up level with your hips. Again. Shift your arms, reach that right foot back, good. Put a bend in your left leg. Start to shift your hips towards the back of the mat. Don't drop your toe yet, don't drop your toe, then drop your toe down. Reach both hands up, coming to a high lunge position. Good. Rotate open to warrior two. Rotate that back parallel foot, back edge of your right foot parallel to the edge of the mat. Keep bending into your front knee. Keep the front big toe grounded. Tailbone down, roll your palms open towards the ceiling. <sighs> With your right hand, shift your right hand forward, circle it forward, circle your left hand back, pivot on your back toes. It's gonna be a long stance lunge. Woo! Open back up, warrior two. From there, toe heel, your right foot a little bit closer to your left. Shorten your stance of your warrior two. Again, rotate your right hand forward, left hand back. Coming to this long lunge. So to shift your weight forward into your left foot. Start to peel your right toes up off the mat and then lift them up. Warrior two running arms. Switch your arms as you switch your legs, coming to stand and balance. Excellent. Bring your hands to your heart as you drop your right toes down to the mat. 
drop your right knee down, set your right knee down. <laughs> Untuck your right toes, cross them behind you on the left side and sit your hips all the way back behind your foot. You can place both foots out, foot, both feet out in front of you. <laughs> and from here, drop both knees over to the right, turn your chest to the right. It's okay if your feet and knees touch each other. Just taking some simple twists from one side to the other. Simple, of course, and easy, always, hard, difficult, like all those words are very subjective to you. Okay. This time, we're gonna have attention. So when we go from that warrior three, you can step back to the lunge, and then we go from the lunge and step forward. Those motions, it's really nice when we step down. So pause and watch for just a minute. So if we're in a warrior three and we drop our back foot down and we open up to um, either a lunge or a warrior two, our hips or our feet will be really close together. We can option, you know, we can have a longer stance there. And sometimes you might find yourself wiggling to get there. In order to have to avoid the wiggle and just land where you want to land, you have more control over that. And the way you can control that is when you're in the warrior three, not just dropping the foot down, but put a deeper bend in your standing leg and shift your hips back towards the back of the mat, then drop your toe down, then open up. Now to reverse that, we're gonna be on in the lunge, you have to lean your weight forward and then flip over onto your back toes. So now you can't even lift up off them and drag them in and then lift up. And so it's a whole body shift forward. Your torso has to lean forward in order to give you some leverage to be able to lift that leg up and off because these legs weigh a lot. So we need our torso to counterbalance that. Let's do this one more time. Make those transitions between the things even lighter. Pick up your left foot, cross it under your right leg. Rock up onto your left shin. Bring your left shin parallel to the outer edge of your left mat and stand all the way at balance. Reach your right hand high, left hand down towards the ground. Warrior three, switch your arms. From this warrior three, just put a bend in your leg, shift your weight back, 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 drop your toes down. Open up warrior two. Okay, from this warrior two, don't wiggle your foot further back. Now circle your right hand, sorry, left hand forward, right hand back, coming to that lunge. If this is feeling it's too far, open back up, warrior two. Toe heel that foot just a little bit closer. Now pivot again. Good. Rock yourself forward into the front foot, tip over so you're even on the top of your back foot. Push up. This leg is standing, legs doing the work. Good. Standing, running arms, find that balance. Drop your left toes down. Set your left toes down. Set your left knee down. Cross your left heel and ankle behind your right. Sit down and back behind it. Uncross your legs, and let's pick up your right foot. Cross your right leg under. Rock up onto your right shin. Bring your right shin parallel to the edge of your mat. Stand in balance. Bring your left arm high, right arm down. Running arms, warrior three, right hand reaching forward. Beautiful. Put a bend in your left leg. Send your right toes back, 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 back. You're reaching forward and reaching back. Open all the way up, warrior two. Five. Warrior two, pivot your right hand forward, left hand back, pivot on top of your toe, onto your back toes. This is a long lunge. You have to open back up, warrior two. Toe heel that back foot in a little bit closer. Now rotate right hand forward, left hand back. Shift your weight forward into your front foot, roll over onto the top of your left foot. Pick, I'm sorry, right foot, pick your right foot up. Good, standing running arms, pull your right knee up. Good, step your right toes back, drop your hands to your heart. Set your left right knee down, cross your foot behind you on the left, and sit all the way down, uncross your legs. Ah, amazing, bring the soles of your feet together. Ah, pause here for a moment. The soles of your feet together, grab onto your ankles, lift your chest up high. Again, you can sit on the block here, raise your butt up off the ground. It can be an excellent variation of this posture. This is the kind of class that's like the yoga to get up and off the ground. So which requires quite a bit of hip mobility, knee and ankle mobility. Grab onto your toes and lean your chest forward towards your feet. Mm. 
it's interesting how balance is this combination of strength and grace. How the control that you need to have balance really needs that playfulness in it to not feel suffocating. Right? It, it really is the control that allows the freedom for you to move. And that's really the thing we're after. Grab your hands around the outer edges of your legs. Fold your legs together like a book. Lean them off to the left. Circle your way around to come back onto the mat. As you come onto the mat, then tuck your toes, lift your knees, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg high. Step your right foot outside your right hand. Pick up your right hand so you can toe heel your right foot to the center of the mat. Drop your left knee down to the mat. Untuck your toes, sit all the way up, reach your hands high. Grab onto your left wrist. And from here, so stack your right and left hip on top of your left knee and push your hips slightly forward. With your left wrist in, like with grabbing onto your left wrist, I want you to push those hips forward, squeeze your butt a little bit on the left side, and then lean over to the right, pulling the left side over. This would be a stretch of the front side of your leg, those hip flexors, which we have done just a bit of work on. Circle both hands forward. Shift your hips back, coming to a half split, so maybe wiggle your right heel more forward. Okay, from here, rock yourself forward onto your right foot. Maybe wiggle your left leg back. Circle your right hand back behind you. Maybe staying here, maybe dropping your hips open, push your right knee open. Option to grab onto your back foot and open this way. You can always hook a, um, a strap around this back foot as well to catch and, uh, catch and hold. Release that, bring both hands down to the mat. Wiggle your foot out to the side or reach it up and back behind you. Flow however you would like and find your way back to downward facing dog. When you're in down dog, reach your left leg high. Step your left foot outside your left hand. Pick up your left hand so you can toe heel your left foot to the center of the mat. Drop your right knee, set your right knee down. And rise all the way up. Reach both hands high. With your left hand, hold on to your right wrist. Send your hips more forward with your right hip stacked on top of your right knee. If, flex your butt a little bit on that right side and then lean over to the left. Maybe turn your head and look out underneath your right armpit at the same time. Circle both hands forward. Maybe wiggle your left toes, left foot forward. Send your hips back, finding a half splits on your left leg. Rock forward with your right hand down. Twist open to the left side. Left hand on your left knee. You can stay here and twist. Option to reach back towards the back knee, dropping your hips down, but keep pushing out through your shoulder. Maybe you bend your back foot in. You can strap this. I don't have a strap right next to me at this moment. Maybe finding a pull of this foot towards your butt. Release that. Bring both hands back down. However you like to get your left leg back to meet your right and downward facing dog, feel free to do so. It can be different than the time last. Finding your way in downward facing dog, drop your knees down to tabletop position. Crawl your hands forward past the mat, drop your chest down towards the ground. With your hips up into the air, drop your forehead down to the mat. Lift your head up, drop your elbows down, bring your hands together with your palms together, elbows underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, come to a forearm plank. Pause. 
pause and stay. Push the ground away. Ah, yes. Soften your forehead. Soften your jaw. Do not hold your breath. Stay for 10. Nine. Eight. Push your heels back. Keep your body where it is. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Drop your hips down. Oh. Lift your chest up. Stay here. Your hands can stay together or you can unclasp them, place them down to the ground. A sphinx pose. Push your chest up and away from the ground. Mm. Release your elbows out to the side so they're not holding you up anymore. Reach your hands alongside your body. Lift your feet. Lift your chest. Lift your arms. For locust pose, option to bend your feet in and find your ankles for an easy bow pose. Make this easy. Whatever easy means to you, it's going to mean different, something different for all of us. Oh, it's a little release. Oh, bring your hands together. Lay your head down onto your hands in front of you. Mm. Roll yourself over onto your back now. When you're on your back with your block close by, I want you to set your block underneath you for a supported bridge pose. Feel free to also take bridge pose and by pushing into your feet and lifting your hips up. Again, think of not like necessarily like hip thrusting the ceiling, but then like kind of push and not like hip thrusting and like trying to open, expand your rib cage open, but think instead of like this front side of your hips where your hip flexors are, how could you expand that portion? Of you. Not necessarily the rib cage portion, like not turning into like a back bend. This position can force be taken into a back bend. Not necessarily bad, like at all. Like we're just taking this position for the hip flexor focus. So in this way, keeping more of the line, squeezing your butt a little bit as you lift your hips up. And when you're ready to soften, drop your hips back down to that block. Let your hands rest palms up out to the sides. And let your feet crawl out, toe heel out to the sides of the mat, letting your legs be wide. They kind of feel nice. It doesn't feel like they're going to fall in or out then. If you kind of roll them out and let, your, you let them kind of dangle out more towards the sides, towards your hands. It's very open. Close your eyes. Exhale your breath. <sighs> Heel your feet a little bit more in on the mat and push into them. Lift your hips up, remove the block out from underneath you. Set it down and lower your hips down. Make a shape with your body that's ready for your Shavasana. Extend your feet up maybe to both sides of the mat. Let your toes roll out, let your knees roll out, let your hips roll out. Feel free to take up as much space as you would like to take up. Get bigger. Invite yourself to show up there, whatever that looks like. Hold yourself in a way that you need to be held. And soften into that. Let it be easy. Let it be light. We have a couple moments of silence here now together.
become aware of your breath. The way you're holding your face. I was reminded earlier today about the sensations of right after and what that can teach us. And as we have just moved together and as we will push ourselves up to a seat and we will end together, be aware of your sensation in getting up from here now. Be aware of the way that the feelings of movement in your body have created shifts and how you are a different person now. And let those places of stillness of the after or more it's the in-between, right? Always the in-between. Let that be a teacher to you. On your next inhale, find some movement in your hands and in your feet, in your arms and your legs, however that looks for you. However big or little that movement is. And find your way onto your side, pick a side. Using your hands, push your way all the way up to a seated position. Make it easy. Move your eyes closed. Connect your hands to your legs with your palms up. Soften your forehead. Exhale. Inhale, pick your hands up off your legs and rotate your arms open to the sides. Exhale again here. Inhale, just a little bit bigger. Exhale, cross your arms over your body, your right hand to your left arm, your left arm to your right arm. We'll grab onto your arms, inhale. Exhale, squeeze and pull in. Round your back, thinking cat back, pull your chin to your chest. Inhale, open your arms out to the sides again. Exhale, pull your hands to your heart, either in prayer or one hand stacked on top of the other. Inhale. Exhale. Hmm. Thank you for moving with me today. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for finding some balance. Hmm. Hmm. Go. Be brave. <laughs>